What up, what up, what up, what up? It's the boy D House in the building here making me a YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about, I don't know if y'all saw the football game last night between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, it was the first quarter of the game. And it's when uh, DeMar Hamlin got hurt. Uh, first of all, I've, I've been watching football, been watching football a long time, a lot of years, uh, 55 years old. So I've seen a lot of football games. I've seen a lot of terrible injuries, you know, players get hurt, players, whatever. Um, but in the time of watching football from being high school football, pop Warner football, high school football, college football, the NFL, Canadian football, arena football, whatever kind of football it is to watch, I've seen it. I've only seen this happen one other time where somebody had cardiac arrest on the field. And uh, that was at a game to at a school that I went to. I went to Dorsey High School here in Los Angeles. And a player had a heart attack on the field, but actually he died on the field before they could even carry him off on the field. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm not going to say his name um, because I don't want to, you know, get in trouble for the, using his name without permission. Um, but he did die on the field and he went to Dorsey High School. If you, you probably can Google and look it up, but I'm not going to mention his name here in the video. Um, and so when I saw this incident last night, uh, it looked like from from what people from whatever we all probably saw if you're watching the game, a clean hit. A a clean football play. And it looked like my man hit him in the chest. He tackled wrapped him up, tackled him. And it, like I said, it, it, everything look, about it looked good and looked clean. And even DeMar popped up. Stood up for like a few seconds and then next thing you know he fell down. So in my mind, and probably like a, a lot of people's mind, uh, he probably got the wind knocked out of him. That was the first star came in my mind. But when I saw them and he wasn't really moving, <coughs> then you see people calling for the people to come out, training staff. And then both sides, training staff, eventually came out and doctors came and started working on them. And the players started to gather. You know, then they brought up the ambulance. And then next thing you know, they're doing a CPR. That, when I saw that, saw that uh, started seeing the develop. Then when I started seeing a CPR, that was mind boggling for me. And it made me think about the situation from seeing this in the nineties with the, at my school, Dorsey high school, where the player went down and they were doing CPR and it just brought that all back, man. It just, it just so tragic. You know, and I just closed my eyes and tried to give a little prayer for my man and, you know, then you could just see the fans as they showing the fans the disbelief on their faces, and, and then the players were breaking down, crying, and having all these different emotions, and you know, um, you know, different things going on in their mind, and you know, just hoping my man can be okay, and uh, I, I really hope he's okay, can can recover. And I just really hope he, hoping and pray he don't die. You know, just I want to see him make some type of recovery, come back from it. And it ain't about football right now. It ain't about anything. It's just about him being okay or getting better. And uh, it's a very unfortunate situation. You know, I know it's, and, you know, didn't have his family there. His mom was there, you know, watching the game and, you know, seeing that uh, emotion she was going through. And then the player he tackled, you know, I know for him that's got to be a weight that's, you know, the hardest thing to deal with. Cause you never want to go through that. You never want to wish anything bad on anybody. And, uh, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. It's very, it's tragic, you know, and it's, Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Just, yeah, I'm trying to control that, but I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Um, but, um, uh, it's, it's very unfortunate. So my prayers really go off with this dude and, you know, really and his family and hope he, and, you know, he can get better and get well. And then you just see it on all the commentators' faces from ESPN, you know, 
and uh, the Monday Night Crew, you know, they just, you know, you could tell we're just tearing them up, eating them up, you know, just really, really just on their mind. You know, they they were all emotional, you know, trying not to cry on air, you know, but it's tough. It's very tough when you're dealing with something like that. And, uh, and, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, even for me right now, it's, it's hard to find a way to get through it, you know, to talk about it. And, uh, like I said, I just pray for this dude, really pray for this dude to get well. And I really want to see him get back to some recovery work, at least be, be, be back to some normalcy. Um, uh, I really hope he can, he can pull through, you know, um, uh, the last thing you want to hear is that, you know, he passed away from it, you know, um, it's, it's, it's like I said, for the fans that were there and the people who were watching, I know it's got to be a very shocking thing, very tough thing, emotional, and um, it's just hard to deal with, really, really tough to deal with, and I hope and pray that they all can, you know, find a way, and it was, it was disappointing because even at one time, I thought they were telling them they had five minutes to get back, go to the locker room and get yeah be ready to play, you know, so I'm glad to see that the players on both sides, the teams, sat together and said, no, but you know what, we're not playing this game. Cause I think the officials, the NFL officials wanted them to continue with the game. And how can you continue something not knowing your teammate, a fellow player, is, is you don't know the status right now. And uh, yeah, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm glad they took a stance and said, no, we're not playing the rest of this game. And, you know, it's really, really tough. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad to see they took a stance and it's undetermined when or if they will play that game or when they may play that game. Because I'm sure they have to play it, you know, because uh, uh, it's uh, the playoffs is on the bye. So, but, uh, like I said, I just hope that, you know, it, it can be a situation where they all can grow from it and everybody can get better and be well. You know, really, DeMar Ham Hamlin is, he's a pretty good player, you know, and uh, you hate to see something like that. You know, and uh, like I say, even he got a GoFundMe page that was for something else come from a couple of years ago. Now it's got about four or five million in it, I think. So, um, my prayers again go out to DeMar Hamlin and hopefully he can pull through from it and and be okay, you know. But every day every day is a, it's something new from it. So we'll see. Peace out.